Hi, and welcome to episode number 15 of this latest bio tutorial series. Today, we are going to implement the death behavior of enemies. But to be able to kill enemies, we will also need a damage card. Let's go. So let's first create the death behavior. Like everything, killing the enemy will be game action. So let's create a kill enemy game action. It will just take a target. It's useful to have such a game action because with this game action you can actually kill enemies without caring how much life they have. You could for example create a card that just says kill a random enemy and use this game action here. We will just perform this game action for each enemy that reaches life that is below or equal to zero. We do it in the damage system in the deal damage performer. Everything that deals damage must use this performer and therefore this is a good place for that. We first check if target's health is less or equal to zero, and then we also check if the target is an enemy view or not. If it is an enemy view, we just create a kill enemy game action and add it as reaction. If it's not an enemy view, we do nothing for now, but you could trigger some game over logic here or something like this. We then of course also need a performer for our kill enemy game action. This will be in the enemy system. We create one and also attach and detach it as always. Inside the performer we will just call a method in the enemy board view that we have to create first. In the enemy board view, we will have the remove enemy method that destroys an enemy and cleans everything up so that the enemy is also no longer in the enemy's list here. We also do a short scale down animation so that it looks a bit better. That's why this method is an IE numerator. This way we can wait for the animation. You maybe ask why we don't have the add enemy as IE numerator as well. So, because enemies are spawned in the beginning of the match, we don't want to animate them. But if you want a cool animation in the beginning of the match as well, feel free to change that. Back in the enemy system and the kill enemy performer, here we just call our new method with yield return so that we wait for it. That's actually it for the kill enemy game action. but we of course need to wait to somehow kill the enemies. For this we will create a new card. For this new card we need a new effect. Just as a quick reminder, effects are those things that we can attach to the cards. They will generate a game action when needed. The effect we create is the deal damage effect. It of course has to inherit from effect. We also need a serialized field for the damage amount. Inside the get game action, we create a new deal damage game action with the damage amount and also a list of targets. We will get the list of targets from the enemy system for now. Later, we will replace this with the targeting system. And the enemy system we just have to make a property that returns the enemy views from the enemy board view. Back in the effect, we create a new list with those enemies and pass it to the deal damage game action as a second parameter. We then also return the game action. In Unity, we can now create a new card. Let's call it Arrow Rain. It will deal 10 damage to all enemies and will cost 1 mana. It will also use the arrow rain sprite. In the effects list, we add our new effect and fill in the damage. In the hero data, we have to add the card to our deck. Let's replace a few draw cards with the new arrow rain. Now in play mode, you will see that when you play the arrow rain, the enemies get damaged. When you damage them enough, they get killed. It starts to look like a real game. Cool. 
In the next episode, we will create a targeting system. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to support me, please leave a sub and a like. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.